going on? It's RJ Anderson. We're out here in Winchester Bay Dunes for DuneFest 2013. It's my first year out here and I just got handed a brand new XP1000. Threw some paddle tires on it and doing a quick shakedown on her for youtubeunderground.com. I've been driving and racing Polaris's for five years now and XP1000 just set a whole new standard in the UTV market. It has just over 100 horsepower, sitting at 107, and it's got 18 inches of travel in the back and 16 inches of travel in the front and just eats up anything you could throw at it. The shocks on the back of the XP1000 is a race style shock that we've been using in racing over the past few years. It's a two and a half inch needle shock, 18 inches of travel with remote reservoirs, all of which are compression adjustable 16 ways to go for a stiffer ride or a softer ride. What a needle shock is, is it allows the suspension to kind of flow freely in the first part of the suspension and then right as it gets towards the top, the shaft comes up into a needle and it slowly stops the shock in a sense to keep you from bottoming out on the really big hits. With the new suspension design on the XP1000, they also extended the wheelbase eight inches, which helps a whole lot when you're going through the long whoop sections and the extra wheelbase with the extra travel just makes this thing eat up the rough terrain like it's nobody's business. The Polaris XP900 already had a bunch of horsepower, and now with the new XP1000, it's still a two-cylinder ProStar engine, but it's got 107 horsepower. Not only is it just a straight-line shooter, when you need the power, it's there. It's got torque, power, everything you need in a Razor. Head on over to utvunderground.com for the full review on the XP1000.